Today we're going to be talking about some, uh, some sports psychology, in particular progressive muscle relaxation. But basically what it is, is that you tense muscle groups beyond their normal um, or measure. Does that make sense? Or you tighten them or you clench them more than they're used to, okay? But PR, we're going to be working from the ground up. So we're going to start with the floor, with your feet and your legs, and we're going to work all the way up. We're going to tense all the muscles beyond their normal capacity. Hold your palm out. All right, clench your fist. Tight, tight. Clench, are you clenching? All right, release. All right, so why is progressive muscle relaxation important? It's because when we when we are tense, it lowers our, when we clench our whole body, right? We're not as loose as we need to be. Does it make sense? All right, so that it, can, it can hinder our performance. Whether we're presenting or we're in our sports domain, whether you're playing football, basketball, volleyball, doesn't make sense. When our muscles are tighter, maybe I miss that football or that ball by an inch because I'm not as relaxed as I need to be. Doesn't make sense. So now let's get into the progressive relaxation script. So what's going to happen is we're going to clench the muscle, that, that muscle group or that muscle uh, beyond its normal capacity. We're going to clench that muscle or tighten that muscle for about five seconds, okay? And then after five seconds, I'll say release or relax. And then you relax that muscle. As you relax the muscle, you're gonna let, uh, let out an exhale, okay? So you're gonna clench, right? And you're gonna relax. You can make a little sigh if you want to. That's you're gonna exhale for a count of three seconds, right? Curl your toes back. All right, one, two, three, four, five, relax. All right, so if this is your toe, you're curling them back towards you, okay? Stretch out your calf muscle. All right, one, two, three, four, five, relax. Now, you are going to raise out your legs in front of you, right? And it's kind of the same thing. Curl your toes and squeeze your thighs together. One, two, three, five, relax. Next, all right, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath in. Relax, okay. Now next deep breath, take a deep breath in. Flex your stomach muscles, flex your stomach muscles. Two, three, four, five, relax. We are at chest and shoulders. Uh, push out your chest, stick out your chest, and, and you squeeze your shoulder blades as if you're trying to touch them, okay? For a count of five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, relax. Raise your shoulders up. One, two, three, four, five, relax. Right, so you're going to lower your chin down to your chest, okay? Squeeze your, your neck muscles, okay? One, two, three, four, five, relax. You're gonna you're going to keep what's the word I'm looking for? You're going to lower your head, slowly lower your head backwards, right? Lower slowly, slowly, slowly. Right, so you're looking up towards the sky. One two, three, four, five. Slowly return back to neutral position. So your head should be facing forward. All right, we have mouth and jaw. Now this one, you're gonna open your mouth as wide as possible, okay? Like you, like it's a big yawn, all right? All right, like as wide as possible, all right? One, two, three, eight, four. All right, next one. Smile widely and show your teeth. One, two, three, four. Five, relax. All right, eyebrows. We're gonna raise them first and then I'll have you frown really hard, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Frown really hard. One, two, three, four, five, relax. So that was progressive muscle relaxation. If you're feeling a little bit tense or relaxed, you're feeling, excuse me, if you're feeling tense, anxiety, or stress, you can use progressive relaxation to help you relax. You need to perform, but also it can help you guys uh, in preparing to get ready for bed if you're having trouble sleeping. All right, next, we have deep breathing, okay? Has anyone seen a baby breathe before? Yeah. All right, where's, that, where's their breath exactly in their stomach, right? So most of the time when a, break, when a baby is breathing, they breathe from their stomach, right? From their belly. Mm -hmm. So that's how we should be breathing to get those deep breaths, okay? One hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. Take a deep breath in, release, exhale, through your mouth. All right, so that's just getting you ready for the exercise, okay? All right, so pay attention to your breathing before the exercise and after. Are you breathing through your chest before and after or does it change, right? So what the exercise is, you're going to inhale deeply for a count of four to five seconds. You're going to pause after that inhale. You're going to release, and then you're going to pause again. 
and now I'll tell you to inhale and, and so on. Does that make sense? Basically, you inhale, count four to five, pause, exhale, four to five, pause, all right? If you feel any discomfort while we're doing the exercise, return your breath back to normal, okay? Get into a comfortable position again. All right, one hand on the chest, one on the belly. You're gonna, you're gonna focus on breathing into your stomach. If you can't breathe into your stomach, then you can hold yourself at a 45 degree angle to feel it more. Go ahead, inhale, one, five, hold. Exhale, one, two, three, pause. Inhale, one, two, five, pause. Exhale, one, two. So that was deep breathing. That's similar to progressive muscle relaxation because we are loosening the muscles if we're tense and we're clenching our muscles, we're, we're loosening up the muscles. Last one, we have guided imagery, okay? All right, so I'll be reading from an from a imagery script. Now, even though I'm reading from a script, I encourage you to, whatever your place of relaxation is, it doesn't necessarily have to be from the script, even though I'm, I'm reading from the script. Go to wherever your, your happy place is or whatever your place of relaxation, okay? For some people, it may be a beach, it may be their house, it may be a certain place, or you get what I'm saying? In your mind, okay? Imagery is like visualization. The thing that makes imagery so powerful is that basically you are creating or recreating an experience in your mind, okay? If I'm a high performance athlete or even a student, right? Or if I'm at work and I wanted to perform well or I wanted to imagine myself in my performance domain and get better, I can use imagery to basically to basically reconstruct those images or I can use imagery to practice my skill. So imagery involves using the senses, the visual sense, auditory, um, olfactory, smell, gustatory, it's taste, touch, okay? Go ahead and close your eyes, get into a comfortable position. All right, take a deep breath in. All right, so get into a comfortable position and allow your mind to clear. Breathe in deeply from your diaphragm and slowly exhale. Allow yourself to vision yourself in a place of calm relaxation. For some, this may be a beach, a campfire, or a meadow. Breathe in slowly. I want you to imagine the sounds you hear in your place of relaxation. Focus on, on the sounds and continue to control your breathing. If you are envisioning the beach, maybe you hear the sounds of the waves. If you are envisioning being somewhere in a forest, maybe you hear the campfire. Whatever that sound is for you in your place of relaxation, I want you to hear it now. Continue to breathe deeply and relax. All right, so if you're envisioning the ocean, I want you to feel the waves or the water going between your fingers. Continue to breathe in deeply. Hear the sounds, smells, touch. Continue to breathe in deeply. Let out an exhale. All right, last, focus on being in that place of relaxation. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Take your time. So most of you are up. All right, so that was guided imagery. So my questions are on the board. Did you find it easy to picture a place of relaxation? Yeah. All right, for some of you, what, what was that place? The beach. My room. The beach, some, the, your room. The forest. The meadow and the forest. So for those of you who envision you playing your sport, these are things you could be doing. Like you could visualize yourself performing a skill, right? So maybe you're working on a specific volleyball skill. Maybe you taste the sweat. Maybe you feel your body move, you know, for us getting ready for a set or getting ready to spike, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So imagery can help you practice your skill without actually being in your performance domain. Next question. What about this place do you find most relaxing? The sound was most relaxing. What was your sound? Um, wave. Waves and see, so you were at the beach? Yeah. Uh, could you see, smell, hear, taste, or touch anything described? And did anybody visualize the campfire and, and yeah, roasted marshmallows? Mm -hmm. Next. Deep breathing, okay? How can deep breathing help you in everyday life? Mm -hmm. Were you already breathing deeply through your stomach or your chest before we did the exercise? So did anyone's breathing change after the exercise? Yeah. It's a lot slower, right? Mm -hmm. Right, so we get more oxygen in our body when we, are, when we have slow, deep breaths, okay? That's why most of the time when you, when you guys find out when you're in a rush, right, or something happens, right, or breathing, you think of that fight or flight phase, right? Mm -hmm. You calm yourself down by deep breathing and you slow your thoughts down, all right? How has your breathing changed before and after? So we talked about that. All right, so progressive muscle relaxation, deep breathing. Those of you who have experience with, with progressive muscle relaxation, were you able to relax each muscle group? Was your upper body uh, more easier to relax than your lower? 
Can you tell the difference between a tense muscle and a relaxed muscle? Yes. All right. So remember, when, I, when we first demonstrated, think of that. Remember that closed fist, that tight fist? So the last one was the closed fist, so tighten your fist and then relax what we did at the beginning though, so that's right. Basically remember with PR, you do that with your whole body. All right, last, how can progressive relaxation help you in school, work, or in your sport? So if you don't have time to do a full progressive muscle relaxation before your sport or your place of high performance, they have what you call a, a, a body scan. So it's similar to progressive muscle relaxation, and basically what that is, Instead of doing my whole body like that, to clenching and then relaxing, I just, I do like, for instance, if you're shooting free throws, right? You will stop where you feel the tension in your body. Does it make sense? So if I just had tension in my shoulders, I would just relax that part of my, my body. Does it make sense? All right, that's it, right? All right, so thank you for participating and I'm glad I was able to share that with you all. That's it.